the HTC U11 Life brings together a solid set of features at an accessible price point, making it a highly attractive mid-range handset, but is it enough? The flagship has a new younger sibling, as the Taiwanese firm looks to inject some youth appeal into its headlining handset line with the HTC U11 Life. Boasting a more compact form factor, a one-hand-friendly 5.2-inch display, Snapdragon 630 chipset, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, 16 MP rear camera, 16 MP front camera and a 2600 mAh battery. It's a decent spec lineup for a phone that doesn't command too steep an asking price, but with strong competition. The HTC U11 Life has its work cut out to make an impact. The HTC U11 Life price is set at £349, $460, AU $600, SIM free, which looking at the spec sheet is a highly attractive price tag. It puts it up against the likes of the th and with the added bonus of a pure Android operating system and guaranteed Swift security and software updates thanks to Android One, expect in the US for the time being. HTC U11 Live pre-orders open on November 2nd, although we're still waiting to hear when its official release date will be. We'll be updating this hands-on look with the details as soon as we know them. So far, HTC has confirmed that the U11 Life will be available in the US, UK and Europe. You can immediately see the U11 influence in the HTC U11 Life with the same curved design, front home button come fingerprint scanner flanked by touch-sensitive navigation keys and prominent camera on the rear. That does mean the front of the U11 Life is a little bezel heavy, but at 149.09x72. x 81 mm the U11 Life sits far more snugly in the palm, making it easy to use one-handed. We could easily stretch our thumb across the 5.2-inch display, and the curved rear nestles securely into your hand for a strong grip. You'll be thankful of getting your fingers around the U11 Life tube, as the slippery acrylic glass finish doesn't offer up much in the way of resistance. That acrylic glass may look like the same as you'll find on the U11 and U11 Plus, but it's not. With a different composition it feels cheaper in the hand, which reduces its premium appeal, but it feels solid and capable of handling the odd knock better than its larger siblings. Yet, like the other U11s, it's also an absolute fingerprint magnet. It weighs in at 142 grams, and we found it felt surprisingly light when we picked it up. This is a phone that you can hold for extended period of times without issue, and then easily forget about when you slip it into a pocket or bag. The HTC U11 Life also has IP67 dust and water resistant, meaning it'll survive submersion in 1 meter, 3. Three feet of water for up to half an hour without any ill effects. Oh, and the base a USB C port is joined by a single speaker, which doesn't have the same boom sound hi fi feature as its more expensive namesakes. It results in a poorer audio performance, but it's no worse than its similarly priced competitors.
Audiophiles will note that there is no headphone jack here, although Google does provide an adapter with its own built-in DAC in the box, so you don't have to splash out on a new set of cans. However, you will also find HTC's Yasonic earbuds in the box too, which plug directly into the USB-C port. You'll also get to choose from two HTC U11 Life colors, sapphire blue and brilliant black. The HTC U11 Life comes with a 5.2-inch, full HD, 1080x 1920, Super LCD display which is bright and clear. We watched a few YouTube videos on the U11 Life during our time with the phone and found the experience and viewing angles were perfectly acceptable with no obvious flaws to report. The main talking point about the HTC U11 Life is it's the firm's, and most of Europe's, first Android One device. It means you get a pure Android 8 Oreo experience on screen, free from HTC's sense overlay and duplicate apps, and guarantees on future updates. Together with Google, HTC promises three years of monthly security update and two years of OS upgrades for the U11 life, giving the handset some solid longevity. Updates should also arrive promptly, in line with Google's own Pixel devices, ensuring you're among the first to have the latest and greatest software and protection. There is slightly worse news for those in the US though, as while the handset will be arriving stateside, the exclusive deal with T-Mobile means a version running HTC's Sense UI, rather than Android One is destined for North America. We'll let you know if that ever changes. Under the hood, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 630 chips it is paired with a hearty 4 GB of RAM, which saw Android run smoothly during our hands on time, but we won't know its true performance until our full review. There's also 64 GB of internal storage for you to play with, plus a MicRest slot allowing you to expand on that space if you need more. HTC's squeezable edge sense technology also features on the U11 Life, giving you all the abilities that you'll find on the U11, including giving you an easy way to launch Google Assistant and perform certain actions within your favorite apps. The HTC U11 comes with a pair of 16 MP cameras, one on the front and one on the back, although both are tuned slightly differently. On the rear the 16MP snapper comes with a f2.0 aperture, phase detection autofocus, face detection, 4K video recording, and a pro mode with manual controls and raw format support. From a brief time trying out the camera with non-final software the U11 Life seemed to get on pretty well in our slightly dingy demo area, but we'll explore it in full detail, come our final review. On the front the second 16MP camera also features of f2.0 aperture, but can only record up to 1080p video, and boasts a selfie panorama mode signaling the main use HTC forces for this snapper. In terms of battery the HTC U11 Life has a 2600 mAh power pack which is claimed to have better performance than 2016's HTC 10.
HTC claims you're looking at an additional 2 hours of video playback or 20 hours of music playback, but we'll put this to the test in our review. The HTC U11 Life brings together a solid set of features at an accessible price point, making it difficult to find any real floors with this handset. It's going to perform well, take some decent pictures, and should last a full day on a single charge, but it may struggle to stand out in an already crowded market with little extra to offer over any of its rivals.